Hello everyone. Well, several videos later, I, I think I got it down. This is my demonstration of the Connect 2. Um, there, I'm just going to break it down here real quick and go over the features, quick setup, and uh, show you my problems that I had with this. Um, speaking of problems, let's just go right into that. I determined that you can't run the second camera, the normal camera that's on the laptop, um, or any other camera at, at all on the broadcasting software. Uh, the broadcasting software is a, a necessity to keep this going. Um, so I can only record the Connect and it looks like it's flawlessly this way. Um, it's full HD. Um, I'm going to show it down at the bottom of the screen a little bit. Um, I I definitely had to tweak this to make it to to make it work. Um, I even go. I even went into the. There's a program in the program to, to record, but it, it doesn't record to the hard drive, so it has to be done this way, particularly. Um, I'm open. I'm using Open Broadcaster software. It's a free software that gamers and that use because it takes less memory to run that while they're playing their games. Um, so it works out pretty well. All right, let's get into the features here real quick. Um, I'm going to just compare it to uh, the Connect One um, right off the bat. You'll see that I am in H HD and IR. Um, this is a pretty cool uh, feature that already beats the Connect One. Um, you can see that it's starting to track me already. Um, I'll just stand in the back here. I'll do I'll do some demonstrations. And if you see my other videos already, I mean that's great. <laughs> I am kind of a perfectionist, so we just gotta get this right. I don't want to be showing you guys something and it's not adequate enough. I I, I had that problem, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> now. This thing's pretty cool. Um, I've noticed that it, it looks like that it could glitch out if you know I'm in front of a chair. Um, I know the Connect One had a problem with reading something next to. I mean, it's kind of doing it, but it, I mean the the Connect One the person it would make another person a little tiny one, um, and it. The stick figure will move around a lot. Uh, the tracking will move around a lot if it's by itself. Like it's not sustaining on a physical body. It will it will fluctuate and go all over the place. Um, I've noticed that. I mean, it's kind of doing that now, but it's a little worse. <clears throat> but, you know, trying to get it to... <clears throat> You know glitch out it's 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 kind of hard and it's kind of hard if you know we're trying to determine if you know we're trying to get a spirit to interact with us we got to make sure that we're not reading this as a false positive uh, a glitch within the system um, as you can see it changes changes colors I could see this being very beneficial to ghost hunting. You can tell that uh, it, uh, you know, if a spirit's mad or something, you know, when we're when we're angry, you know, you know, what if the spirit's angry or something? So we could we could find out that way. <laughs> Anyways, it, yeah, I know it's stupid. Whatever. <laughs> um. I know the stick figure changes colors. See? Oh, it did it. It did it. This is what I meant. Good. There, let's get out of frame. Look at that. See, this is... 
this is what I meant. Um, a lot of people will mistaken will mistaken things like that as a spirit. That's good. I I, I, I spent almost all night trying to get this to do this. So, I mean, it has its flaws, obviously, and the first one has its flaws, too. I think we'll never get away from that. I just think a lot of people need to be aware when the connect messes up, not to jump the gun and say, look, there's a bunch of spirits in here. You, you definitely have to get it to interact with you, and more than likely, if you come back in the frame, it will you know, jump back onto your body. And, and it's hard, you know, it's hard. To, a lot of people, you know, you, you really, it's kind of like the ghost box, you know, and you, you're, you don't want to fish for, for something and wish for it, for a spirit to be communicating with you. It just simply isn't the case. Now, there is other views in this. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, first, and uh, before we get into the other one, can you notice that um, this? You can see the background. You can see the background of everything in detail, like the Connect One. You you, it's just color coded, and you you and you can't see it. it everything blends in. This is. In my opinion, this is the way the Kinect was supposed to be designed. Um, I think they, Microsoft got it right this time. Um, let's show you the other features. Um, you know, I can go to the depth cam. There we go. I mean, this is what I meant. Like in the background, you could see it. I mean, you obviously you know that's kind of a wall, but it, it doesn't really show you. Like, I mean, this one, this version of it, I mean, it's detailed. It has like the black on the outside of everything. And that's cool, but I wouldn't be using this for um, ghost hunting. It just simply reminds me of the old one too much. You do all the same stuff, but it's just, I just don't like it. Um, yeah, like I said, I tried, I tried to record with the actual Connect program. Um, I don't think, um, you know, when I, when I first started getting this going, um, you know, having... Having the, um, I had a little issues of like hardware wise. Um, I had a, I had to go uh, onto my H, the HP website and download USB drivers for the 3.0. Um, you'll notice if you're setting this up yourself um, that it, it will say that your USB is not working with it. Just give it time, let it install slowly into the system. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I, you know, I, I designed this uh, for 50 bucks. Like, I, I made this system work for 50 bucks. I got it all on eBay. I got the adapter and uh, the connect for 50 bucks. Um, pretty, pretty good deal. And, um, all I did is I went to the web, uh, Microsoft's website and downloaded the uh, Windows Connect um, SDK 2.0. And I, I, I downloaded it. And you can do this before you even get a Connect. Um, it, it'll just give you a little error message saying that you don't have the Connect connected, but it will go and, and show you your graphics card, which I had a problem with as well. Um, with the desktop, because um, I, I can't get 
11 direct x 11 on my computer on my main computer so the laptop has a decent enough graphics card to, to handle this um but yeah i it took me some tweaking to really get this going guys but it's all good now now what you're seeing is a 3d environment of my room I, get, I, I might be able to, um, I'm probably going to do this some other time. I just don't like the shadow um, shadow stuff in this one. Um, you notice in the, you'll notice in the, the actual um, IR version, it actually takes um, background, background shadows out. It um, takes out animate lighting. Um, it takes the lighting out of the, out of the room as well. I'm gonna switch back over to it. Yeah, you, you, I mean, there's a little bit of a shadow like outlining me, but that, that I don't think that is a. I don't know if that's actually a real. Sh I don't know if that's a an actual shadow, cause I mean I could. Put, that's just you know, I actually think it takes out the shadowing um, and the external lighting. So you know when a spirit or something walks into the room, we're not gonna be able to. I gotta move this over. It froze up. It's it's difficult. I, I you with this program, you have to have it. You have to select the region and shrink it down. That's why you have to see the the outside borders of this. I can't have full screen. Uh, otherwise, we'll we'll lose resolution. Um, all kinds of bad things um, will happen. The first couple videos, I had to do it in resolution like 360, and it sucked. <laughs> um, I'm actually recording off my phone in this. I mean, I can, I can switch between monitor views and do all kinds of craziness, but that's, a, that's about it with this. And um, If you have any, I think... I think we're done making the video too, I think. Um, just a quick rundown. You go online, you download the SDK 2.0, uh, you install it on the computer, read out everything that it tells you. Um, it's called the browser SDK program. It's built right into the SD. So, um, you can just go down the list of things that are in there. You know, if you're good at programming that, and there's a lot of stuff within this um, program, but the only ones that you're gonna be able to, you're gonna want to use is the uh, Connect uh, Studio, and you run it. Um, you can get yourself a a Connect or and the adapter on eBay and. Uh, you know, I think they're around 60 to the connects are about 60 and then the, the adapters are around like 30 bucks. And, uh, yeah, we, we can get this going. Um, there's very few videos out there on how to, like, actually get this going. And hopefully, you know, if, if you have any questions, I, I mean, I suppose I could help you out with it. Um, but... Like I said, it's, it's self-explanatory. Uh, just make sure you have a 3.0 um, USB driver. That's very important, otherwise this won't work. Uh, a graphics card that's fast enough to, to handle DirectX 11. And that's that's also important, although you're, otherwise your stuff's not going to work. you got to have a li above 4 gigs of RAM, which most newer computers nowadays have. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? And uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10 will be fine. Um, 
and then you'll need the open broadcast software to record to the hard drive. It, it's pretty easy to run the, the broadcasting software. Um, you'll know what I mean when, you know, if you're really messing around with this, there's only certain things that you can really do with this, like strictly have it like this, otherwise it's not going to work. I tried all different ways. I've been thinking about this all night. Um, it's not just plugging it in and making sure that, you know, I, just, I wish it would have been just, hey, I'm plugging this in and it's working. But, I mean, I want it to be flawless. Obviously, it looks like this is the way I'm going to do it from now on. Um, yeah. Can't remember anything else that I want to talk about with this. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, please share this video. Um, just, uh, just give us a shout out if you if you're gonna use this technique. Um, but let's let's get away from the connect one, guys. It's it's it it really is. Um, old um i mean i'm not saying don't go out and buy the sls camera i mean that's that thing's okay it's it but it's based on connect technology the first version uh, maybe in time they'll they'll catch on that, that it's old and uh, make a connect too but uh i really don't see the point of going out and buying something super expensive when you can do it yourself you know, I, 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 I can't uh, tell you enough that, uh, you know, 50 bucks, this is awesome. This is aw This is like uh, mind-blowing, you know, if you, for 50 bucks, man, you get a motion, motion tracking software and uh, hardware. Um, as for traveling around, um, obviously it's on my laptop, so we're going to be taking it out on the on the field, out of, out and about. Um, is this this the range of this too? I mean, that's what I'm going to really enjoy because uh, being outside, obviously, I need I need to go as far as I can go, and can you, you simply can't do that with the first one. It's like three to four feet away. Jesse even told me about that. He's like, did I? I don't even know why we're using the Connect one because it's just, it, you know, these things have to be like right on top of us for it to even work. <laughs> and he's right. So, anyway, uh, I think you guys will enjoy the 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 peer IR and the detail of this and just yeah. Let's just start using this sucker. Thanks, guys, for for watching. I, I'm I'm sorry if you watched the other ones so many times. I just uh, like I said, I, I I'm a perfectionist, so I think I'm happy with this. I'll see how this. I'm actually gonna have to edit all this video together and make an actual show out of it. It it trust me, I <laughs> I spent some time. And, and having this in HD is is what I really wanted that, that I can actually show you how it is, you know, without it being super pixelated. I have to run things at re really low resolutions, and I just don't like doing that. I, I want to show you how I'm going to see it when we're out on the field. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.